Most of the mothers are illiterate widow, single parent and survivors of gender-based violence that have undergone the life skill training. Some have been rejected by their family members because they cannot provide for the family. The two weeks life skill training has changed their lives. They can sew blouses, skirts and shirts, fix sewing machines, do flower and material decorations, budget their little income and simple steps to banking. One time when it's a lining, sum up, middle of a lining, literacy, how to read and write, and pray the middle God and answer him. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency, or EDRA, is a humanitarian arm of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Under the humanitarian program is a sub-program called TANA, which stands for They Are Not Alone. The TANA program tries to address social issues such as gender-based violence and all forms of violence and discrimination in the society. Especially all women uh, all go through long. Uh, domestic violence or any bagara where all the staff long all the staff long up with the poor, all the category that falls under them. The Australian government through the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has also assisted ADRA PNG and the Church Partnership Project to successfully conduct the training. All the graduates have walked away with a new sewing machine each. The church will also build a safe place for GBV survivors called Center of Influence for such mothers to share their experience and knowledge to each other. In a wider area, we play in Karmapa, so on top, skin around. Problem in the inside long family, we play no aggressive. Churches are being urged to addressing all forms of violence at church to support the national government's visions. These women also display their sewing products at the graduation. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.